NFL coach Rob Ryan. Let's move to the Pittsburgh Steelers, who dominated the Ravens and got their first win in Baltimore in five years. But even that wasn't enough to satisfy Antonio Brown. The receiver threw a tantrum and a Gatorade clue on the sideline after Big Ben didn't get him the ball when he was open. Here's Brown after the game. It's like a kid being decided for Christmas. You know, you work on it. You know, you're expecting that, that play on that day. Sometimes it don't work out, you move on. Passionate about the game. Or anytime you, uh, you work as hard and you're expecting somebody to play and I'll run away, you uh, want it. You know, just get a little frustrated. You know what? A.B.'s a playmaker, right? We, we have a lot of them on this field, and, and sometimes there's not enough footballs to go around to everybody. But, uh, you know, I think A.B. is a very passionate. You guys, especially from Pittsburgh, know how passionate he is about wanting to help this team, wanting to do everything he can to, to take us to that next level. Um, I think that's just nothing more than a competitor um, wanting the ball every single play, and you can't blame him for it. All right, Calher, should the Steelers be concerned about Antonio Brown channeling OBJ? No. Uh, I think what they should be concerned about, and this is something we've talked about for two years, I think Pittsburgh's become increasingly a very emotional franchise. They're driven by emotion. And football is a coaching sport where choreography on offense, adjustments on defense win games. I don't want an overly emotional locker room in crisis. This is, I've got to be honest with you, they're a little bit lucky in Pittsburgh. This division used to be great. In the last three years, it's caved. 65, 89, and 2, Ravens, Browns, Bengals. Cincinnati was hot. They no longer are. Baltimore was elite for years. They no longer are. And Cleveland's perpetually rebuilding. I think that's masquerading some of their issues. I think Pittsburgh, in this weaker division, we still think of them as elite. And I don't. I think increasingly in big spots, they're too much emotion, not enough coaching, not enough efficiency, and this is something you and I have discussed multiple times in two years. It, it is. I'm not going to put Antonio Brown and a diva wide receiver no. on Mike Tomlin. No. I, I, I'm going to – look, man, when you're – Mike Tomlin comes from the defensive side of football. Channeling emotion and creating an eruption on the defensive side of the ball can, can work well for you. And that's why I thought they would be great in this spot. AFC North. Uh, Were they great? Yeah. Look, man, anytime, anytime you win 26 to 9 in your division on the road, I, I gotta I don't care how it, you slice it up. That was a great performance, and they feel good about themselves. Again, I'm not too concerned about this. I won't put it on time because one, I think Big Ben can handle it. Big Ben went into the game saying, look, I've been feeding Antonio Brown too much. I gotta spread it around. A B threw up tantrum. I don't think Big Ben will care. Yeah, I mean, you know, the big thing is you beat Baltimore in Baltimore. I mean, there's easier things to do than that. I mean, but, once it's been five, to- five times the five last years. Time, five years. So, I mean, uh, look, guys play with emotion. This, this game's play what the alpha males. They're always going to have emotion, and that's just what it is. It, you know, unfortunately, it gets caught on camera. Guy, you know, gets a little upset. But this is a premier receiver in football, and uh, – I don't think he's a diva at all, like you said. I mean, you know, he's not he just, a diva. No, I don't think so. I think the guy wants Facebook the football. live in the locker room last year. You remember? Well, that? then, hey, people make me. Hey, you know getting, what? That's a great point. Yeah, they get paid. Well, maybe you know, hell, maybe he is. But I, I don't want the the kid goes across the middle. He doesn't. You ever see him upset about things? Like he'll get the heck knock out of him. Gets knocked unconscious. Wins that game. Uh, you know, by doing that, I, I just think the world of this kid is a player and uh, and is a competitor. And, you know, so it's an unfortunate situation. Coach uh, grabs him by the back of the collar. Probably not the right time to do that. So uh, I don't think it's ever the right time for a coach to put his hands on a player. And uh, those players can retaliate, too. So it made him look bad. And uh, <laughs> that's it. You just Shots move on and keep winning. Todd Haley there. <laughs> Boy, I, I know this. If a coach did that to me, I would have done the same right. thing. I know, you better get oh, your hands off me no right question. now. Not in front of my mom. And they're everybody sitting up in the crowd Absolutely. watching me. Uh, but I, and he is – no, I wouldn't be concerned about this at all. He's, yeah. he's the best receiver in the league along with Julio Jones, right. these two guys. And I think when you watch this play – you see that design. That, that, they've been working on this all week at practice. They probably walked through it the day before the game. And it, it, it probably opened up at least three or four times in practice. So when you get to the game and it works exactly how you thought it was going to work, 
and you don't get it thrown to you. That's why he was so excited about it. And he's thinking, what are you doing? We, we, we worked on this all week, and it worked. Why wouldn't you throw it to me? That's, a, that's an easy touchdown for him right yeah. there. So you get a little frustrated. Should he be throwing the, the, the ice? No. The, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. But sometimes you get so emotional, you get so passionate, uh, and you want to put up big numbers, and I know they won the game, and I've had games like that too, where where we won the game, and I had two catches for twenty yards. I'm a little upset. I'm yeah, not gonna right. lie, but we that's, knew that that's in just the media how it goes. too. You <laughs> couldn't tell. Yes, you couldn't we, tell. We talked about it. I answered time. all your questions. I was like, I'm very happy oh, we won today. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember only getting two catches. I, I like to see that. It game. didn't happen often. One, he, he was very pouty after.